All right, welcome back to the vlog, guys. Can you believe it? It is already December. In Edmonton, it's kind of fooling us right now because normally we're in like a foot of snow. Right now, we ain't got no, like we ain't got no, if you look outside, we ain't got no snow. It's it's all brown out there right now. You're probably scrambling because it's already December and you have no gifts for yourself. That's right, for yourself. And uh, I'm gonna help you guys out. If you guys are a big Honda fan and you love Spoon, this is the vlog for you. Let's get right into it, you guys. All right, so let's start off with the actual crate itself. These spoon crates are actually in stock right now at Envision Auto Imports. If you want to get that spoon lover or Honda lover, this fits right inside the trunk and it, it collapses down. Really nice in stock right now. Go to Envision Auto Imports, you guys. I'll put the link in the description below. Well, I guess you can actually get all the stuff that's inside the box or the crate at Envision. So go check them out right now, you guys, if you want it. They don't last too long. Once they're in, they're pretty much gone. So there should be a few kicking around, possibly, maybe by the time this vlog is up, but go check it out. If you want it, go get it. Okay, let's open it up. First off, this is a, a little too late. I already changed my oil, but it finally came in. A lot of uh, Spoon fans have been asking for it and it's finally here the oil filter. I'm gonna tell you a lot of stuff. It's really expensive. But if you're a diehard fan, yeah. So I asked Envision, why is this one so expensive? We're figuring out why. And you look at online, it says inside the filter elements are different. They're made for synthetic oil specifically. And there's magnets inside here to catch all of the debris that is, uh, floating around or possibly can be floating around that could harm your engine. Well, hopefully it's not, but there's your backup plan. I don't even really know how much it is, but hopefully there is a magnet inside there. Pretty nice, eh? Look, oh, it, wow, it just snapped. Okay. Up next is, oh, these are nice. I've been waiting for these for a while. Spoon side mirrors. Hopefully we can install these today. Nice part numbers there. Go get them if you can. You can't just have blue side mirrors. You gotta have the matching rear ones too in the interior one. Here's the part number. Hey, okay. it finally came in for the FL5. Great Christmas gift, I think. I think the FL5 and the 11th generation uh, Civics side mirrors and rear view mirror is the same. So put that in. Hopefully it's a pretty straightforward install. Okay, what else we have in here? Remember last week when I did the, the uh, oil change and I was complaining about these factory screws were like on so tight that they ended up stripping? I was uh, telling Gerald about it. He says the license plate bolts in the back should fit. And you know, lo and behold, I got a set of Mugen ones. These are meant for the license plate. They do fit. Uh, I'll take them out after. I'll, they're, they're pretty nice, you guys. I'll take them out after and I'll show you on the car what they look like. They are expensive. Maybe you want to just keep them for your license plate. You can go to Chasing J's. Chasing J's has hardware that are for the engine bay that will fit underneath there. Premium. The nice thing about it is you can actually get it off a lot easier because it's an, I believe it's a Allen key. So you may want to look into those if you want to replace the bottom under tray four bolts. Those are janky, no good. Okay, so this is one of the things that we were talking about. They are nice. Let me just show you the part number. The part number is right there. They are spoon lug nuts. Um, I think these would be a great Christmas gift for that loved one. The thing is, it's, uh, let me just take one out. Let me take one out. Boom. So they're, they are M14, made in Japan. Nice etching, says Spoon Sports on it. The only thing is, they're made of chromoly. They're a little heavier than your aluminum, like your raised lug nuts or Dura lugs. Those are very light, unless you really want to ball out on a set of titanium ones. Chasing J's makes a 
really, really nice one. Um, but these, the reason why they are so heavy is because they're meant for track. The amount of abuse they take on the track, their lugs may not last as long because you're taking on and off multiple sets of wheels. So for the diehard guys that are on the track, these are probably the ones that you want to go for. Uh, you may want to just cop a set of these. If you go online on Spoon, it won't show up a whole pack like this, a whole pack. You have to buy them by one, and I believe it's like 20 bucks a lug nut. For that diehard Spoon fan, there you go. Go ahead and order. And if you order the whole set, like uh, 20 of them, they will send you the whole box here. But you can get this one at Envision Auto Imports if you want to go get it right now, this specific set. Okay, what else? One more. Well, two more. This is one thing that I really wanted for a long time. Finally, they are here. Uh, Big G's got me a set. Apparently, they made the rigidity of your subframe solid, and it's supposed to be a lot better for your uh, alignment. It makes your alignment true. There's no play anymore, and it's your rigid colors. And they all come in two sets. These are the front. Comes with the, your copper lube. There they are. The whole set. Apparently it's pretty easy to install. Not that uh, hard, it's pretty straightforward, but you need a hoist. Well, you should use a hoist, it's a lot easier. Pretty relatively inexpensive, but expensive for what it is, but for the mod that makes a huge impact, these are very inexpensive. And here's the uh, rear set part numbers there. There you go. Go hit them up, Envision Auto Imports. Go get them while they're available. Uh, a lot of these are always sold out and hard to get online, but um, Gerald has a whole lot of these in stock right now. And go get yours. All right, so if you look at the factory mirror, it's actually clear. And uh, the spoon one is has a nice blue tinge to it. And also the factory mirror is flat. And uh, the spoon one you can see has quite a bit of a curve to it and that gives it the uh, wide angle look. So what we're gonna do is uh, don't remove that yellow because if you remove the yellow, the spoon won't be yellow no more. So just keep that in mind. So what we're gonna do is they say, we're supposed to clean all the surfaces of the factory mirror and the spoon mirror. So there's no grease, put the sticky tape on and then go ahead and stick it on. Should be pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward, but they said, don't push in the middle when you force it down, because um, if you do force it down, it will possibly crack the mirror. They say also we should warm it up, so that it just gives it a little bit of more flex to it, so we don't break anything. So let me uh, go ahead and clean all this up, and uh, put the sticky tape on, and then I'll show you guys how to stick it on. All right, so I got the sticky tape on the spoon mirror. I just put it exactly where they told you to put it on the uh, description. I would recommend before you go ahead and stick it on because I think once you stick it on and then it's it's not coming off unless you break the mirror. So I would do a test run just to make sure everything fits properly and see it's already I uh, I stuck it on already and if if that was yeah it wouldn't be a good problem right now. All right so here's the plan. So instead of just free handing it, just sticking it on and then have a really high potential of screwing it up. So what I did is I lined it up, taped it up. I'm gonna use these as the markers. So ba basically when I peel it back, I'm gonna just drop it and peel off the, uh, the backing on the sticky tape, bring this back down and line these two marks up and it should fit perfectly, should. That is the plan. Bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing. So don't press against it yet. Don't press against it yet. Wait, you gotta line this up. I got a rack, racks in my sack, hurt my back, yeah. They said, say, Nick, what you got up in that bag, yeah. I got a rack, racks in my sack, hurt my back, yeah. I'm frozen. Neck is frozen, catch me rolling, I'm the chosen, snow is falling, Elfie's calling. There you go, look at that, you guys. Woo! Nice. 
and then the uh, blind spot monitors are actually aligned, so everything should work. The only thing you miss is the heated mirrors up in Canada. You won't have heated mirrors. It won't, it won't, it won't. All right, so I got the passenger side all taped up and done. The thing is, if you notice, this side is yellow, like I mentioned before. This side is actually blue. I'll show you here. It's nice and blue in there. Pretty cool. That's uh, attention to detail, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on the other side and I'll be right back. All right, so on to the uh, rear view mirror. There's uh, really, I opened it already. There's no instructions. They're just pretty straightforward and they already come pre-taped for you. Hopefully you can see that. It's a little thicker because the rear view mirror in the car is flat and this one is concaved. So that's why it's thicker on the inside. So you, when you press down, it actually adheres to it and it actually sticks and you can actually, um, yeah, it actually sticks and you don't break it. So hopefully you guys can see, we're gonna go ahead and attempt the inside one. The same thing, it's blue. Hopefully the light is not distracting you guys too much. I'm gonna move it down a little bit just here, just so they can see. There you go. So it's pretty simple. It's kind of curved to give you that wide angle. And um, we're gonna go ahead and remove these. I already cleaned it. And uh, we're just gonna go instead and stick it on. We're gonna start with one end, make sure it is centered. I think so. And we're gonna just gonna hover it on this side. Make sure everything's level. I think so. Looks good. And then go ahead and press it on the two sides. And then you press it on the middle, not too hard, just to make sure it sticks. Just gonna wipe it up. There you go. So hopefully that helps you find that perfect Christmas gift for your loved one out there. And if you have that Honda fan, a lot of these are fantastic gifts. You can't go wrong with them. Uh, I think personally, I think the spoon crate is a wonderful gift for that loved one, you guys. Anybody can use the storage area in their Honda Civic or just any Honda in general. This is a perfect gift. Um, what I'm gonna do is basically, I'm gonna get some Velcro. I'm gonna Velcro down to the, um, the mat here. So that way it won't shift around when you're driving around. And it's just, uh, yeah, looks nice and cozy. If you really don't want it in your space, you can easily collapse it down until it's just a little flat area and it's good to go. So that's it for this week. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content. And if you guys like it, turn on the notification. Don't miss anything. Uh, hopefully next week I'll have some more content on gift ideas for your Honda lover. And uh, yeah, that's it, you guys. See ya!